Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A 12-year-old Texas girl, Miranda Sips, died after her mother and stepfather delayed seeking medical help for her severe injuries for four days, trying to treat her with smoothies instead. Sips, a cheerleader at Jordanton Junior High School, was found in critical condition when her mother finally called 911. Emergency responders met them on the highway, but Sips was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at the hospital. Her parents, Denise Balboneta and Gerald Gonzalez, were arrested and charged with a first-degree felony for injury to a child by omission. The cause of Sips' injuries remains under investigation. In other developments, the CDC has issued a warning about a multi-state outbreak of Salmonella africana and Salmonella branderup linked to cucumbers, affecting 449 people across 31 states and Washington, D.C. The outbreak traced back to cucumbers from Bedner Growers, Inc. and Thomas Produce Company in Florida has led to 125 hospitalizations, though no deaths have been reported. Contaminated canal water used by Thomas Produce Company was identified as a source of the outbreak. Although the cucumber growing season has ended, the CDC urges caution and provides food safety tips to prevent salmonella infection, including washing produce and cooking food to safe temperatures. In another update, a Gallup poll reveals that 45% of Americans, especially those under 35, believe even moderate drinking is harmful, a record high. The trend coincides with the growing popularity of non-alcoholic options and declining alcohol consumption among younger adults. Conversely, alcohol use has increased among adults 55 and older, a concern given new research linking moderate drinking to health risks like cancer and heart disease. A study published in JAMA Network Open found that even low-risk drinkers are more likely to die from cancer compared to occasional drinkers. Experts stress that the less alcohol is consumed, the better it is for overall health. In other news, during a Detroit courtroom visit organized by the Greening of Detroit, a nonprofit group, Judge Kenneth King placed a 16-year-old girl in jail clothes and handcuffs after she allegedly fell asleep and displayed a poor attitude. King asked other students whether she should be sent to juvenile detention, defending his actions as a scared straight tactic. The judge claimed his goal was to teach the teen respect, though he acknowledged there was little chance of detention. The incident drew criticism, with the nonprofit calling it traumatizing and court officials condemning King's conduct. King later offered to mentor the girl after speaking with her parents. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.